Hi George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you this card. Um, or how I made this card. This card was inspired by this card. And this card I made with a lady who had some free stamps in a magazine. She wanted to know how to use them so we came up with this card. We made one each. And she used the, we used the papers out of the magazine and the cutouts and then we cut out some flowers and that's how we made that. She was really pleased with it. Considering she's not a very good, you know, only just started at stamping, make card making. So I liked it that much. I thought, oh, I'll make one. So I made this and I used stamping up flowers. So we're going to make another one. All right, for the card, I've got a card base of basic grey of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half. A piece of pattern card which I got off Gainer Voice um, on Wednesday, I think it was. I received a parcel from Gainer, a big pizza box full of DSPs, which I will use. Thank you, Gainer. Um, so this is one of the bits and that's five and five eighths by three and seven eighths got a bit of foil here at two and a quarter by five and five eighths and a piece of white cardstock at two inches by five and five eighths stamp sets we're using are oh so eclectic I know it's really old but I do like this leaf image and all that you are and we're just using that flower this is now retired as well but I'm going to use it so to start stamping we want to stamp our flowers and we want to try and get five on here I don't think I'm going to get five off there. Oh, only a bit. That's all right. So, don't need that no more. All right, what I have got is some moss, and we're going to put one on each flower right the flowers the four flowers that are raised I've already cut out stamped colored and cut out so we don't need to do them again So that's a more must. And then with our leaf and old olive. Put the paper to the side of it because we're going to stamp off. And without getting it on the stem, ink up your stamp. Stamp it off and just stamp it down so without lifting your mask off again ink up stamp off and just stamp all the way down the flowers a bit sticky for some reason so it's going to come off again I never stamped off never mind so I can go again more 
I just want a bit there in that corner, that's it. And then remove all the mass. And we have some leaves. I'm going to put another one just there. That's it. Nice. Clean the stamp. these in and what I did was with dark um, Highland Heather not with that end because it don't work very well I went up the halfway up each petal Fly buzzing around here, can you hear it? It's because I've got my back door open. It's a beautiful day here. With a nice breeze. If that breeze wasn't there, it would be scorching. Oh, um, news of my granddaughter's home from hospital. She's doing quite well. Obviously, she's got to take it easy for the next six to eight weeks. But Got to go back once a week for blood tests on her kidneys, and then I think the end of July she's got to go for maternity checks. But yeah, she's doing all right. Her 19 year old sister living with her at the moment, help her out. really happy right and then I went not quite to the top with the light blending in
not going quite to the top gives it quite like a um, watercolour effect well I think it does blends that in quite well when you go over the edge over the yeah edge of the darker colour So there we have them. And then I got rich raspberry. And all I did was just put a line of rich raspberry on the front. took the dark Highland Heather and just went over it again just makes it darker at the bottom I don't think I went over the red. I didn't quickly sort that out. Then with Daffodil Delight, we just colour in these stamens. So much from me colouring them all in before. Save time, huh? There you are. Didn't take two minutes. So, let's put this card together. So, we want to glue this. Oh, it's really come through the colour.
onto the foil bit. This foil has got a pinkish tinge to it because I have no silver foil left at all. Not one bit. And then put this on here and I will use them tops there as a guide to get it straight. And I've got a little tiny overhang. Look at that all come through. And we'll put this on the card base. on the inside so let me just get a blank piece and put that inside And now we can put our flowers on. I've already put dimensionals on the back of these. So I'm going to place that one there. This one here. sentiment which I've already done I cut out a little shape and I heat embossed the word thank you from petal palette and I'm going to have that sitting there yeah I like that go there. Yeah. That's right, yeah. So there is that. Let's put some gems on. Those my silver gems. I'm just going to stick three gems under the word thank you. If I can get them out. Let's 
stick some on this one as well. Cover that mess up. So there we have it. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up and you could share and you could subscribe and if you'd like to see more of my cards please press the bell icon and you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday all I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon bye